What is going on guys? Glitter Fairy here and today we are finally going to be opening up all of these weekly crucible bounties. I'm currently on my warlock. I have about 12 of them here. I probably got about another 10 or 12 on my titan uh, but we're going to be waiting on the hunter until next week because uh, I definitely want to get some pretty large openings uh, every single week. So this week warlock and titan. Next week is going to be hunter and probably just a few bounties that I've left over on my Warlock and Titan. But again, these are going to be something that I want to do uh, every single week, maybe even possibly bi-weekly. Uh, that way I can get as many bounties done as possible and open up as many of them as I possibly can. So starting off here, um, let's see what we get. Hopefully we get some really good rolls here. And Starfire Protocols. Okay, all right, not too bad, not too bad. I already have them, but you know, you can always use the extra exotic shards, right? Um, the Hexcaster Arc. Let's look at this thing real quick. See if this is any good for an auto rifle here. We have Red Dot Aura, uh, Steady Hand IS, Range Lens, Persistence, Perfect Balance, Appended Magazine, Reinforced Barrel, and Life Support. Uh, no, no, probably going to be just getting rid of that right here. No problem, no problem. I can use Legendary Marks. Let's open up something else here. And the bad juju. I already got a bad juju. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Again, just more more exotic shards for me. The deal breaker. Let's check this thing out. Let's see what this deal breaker has for us. Another auto rifle with the GB iron. The LB assault with uh, relentless tracker, feeding frenzy, high caliber rounds, fitted stock, and brace frame. Might actually have to check this out. Brace frame gets that stability uh, somewhat up there. Uh, rate of fire is pretty good. Impact's pretty good. Uh, feeding frenzy, it's all right. But relentless tracker always does pretty good things. So might have to hold on to that. Might have to check that out. Uh, of course, we don't need this bad juju. We can get rid of that. Get those exotic shards built up for us. Get rid of these starfire protocols. Don't need those either. All right, come on, let's see what we can get. And the Kalavans's duty. Let's check this thing out. Scout rifle with the uh, red dot ORS range lens RLR five quick draw IS has uh, crowd control, high caliber rounds, hand laid stock, nice with uh, custom optics and outlaw precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed. So. This might be more of a PvE role. Definitely not seeing this as PvP. Um, it is still an, an Iron Banner weapon. Uh, go ahead and hold on to that also. Check it out a little bit this week. And the Matador 64. I already have a God Roll Matador 64 um, right here with uh, Range Finder and uh, Rifled Barrel with Full Auto. Not a huge fan of the Full Auto, but let's see what we can get here. Full Auto. Hammer Forged, Injection Mold, Hand Laid Stock, and Range Finder. All right, so again, I have almost the same roll, but it has uh, Hammer Forged instead of a uh, Rifled Barrel, which I believe that actually gives you uh, less. I believe Hammer Forged here is less than Rifled Barrel. Yeah, I think, I'm, yeah, yeah, the range is, is definitely, definitely less if I uh, go ahead and compare these two here. Yeah, yeah, stability is definitely more on this new one, but yeah, the range is, is a lot less, but go ahead and keep that also. Never had too many Matadors sitting around. Um, let's see what we get here. The Anton's Rule. Let's see what kind of rules we get on this. We got True Shot IS, Fast Draw IS, and Quick Draw IS with a Zen Moment, Cascade, Snapshot, and Hot Swap. So pretty good roll here. So hot Swap, Snapshot. Uh, snapshot and Zen moment. Not too bad for a sidearm. Got the Steel Oracle. Let's see, kind of rolls we get on the Steel Oracle. Um, we got Aggressive Launch, Linear Compensator, and Countermass with Army of One, Fitted Stock, Single Point Sling, Field Scout, Grenades and Horseshoes. Grenades and Horseshoes is always good. Blast radius, nice. That blast radius is all the way up there here. Um, so what else could we put on this? Um, probably field scout, 
So Army of One, Field Scout, and Grenades and Horseshoes. Uh, probably, I probably will be picking this up because as you can see, my current uh, Unto Dust is, the Blast Radius is not all the way up there. Uh, the War Path, which everybody was uh, hype all about a couple weeks ago, um, Blast Radius is up there. You definitely want to have a uh, pretty large Blast Radius. Let's check out another one here. Go ahead and open up this here. Got the Cobra Vigils Bond. Those are just Trials Bounties. Nothing nothing too uh, fancy there. The Unraveling Thread. This is a, uh, a shotgun. I don't think this is any good, though. Let's look. The CQB Ballistics, Accurized Ballistics, and Smooth Ballistics with Hammer Forged, Oiled Frame, Snapshot, Hand Loaded, Full Auto, and range finder okay so it has range finder and hammer forged with um with hand loaded huh i might actually have to check this out let's open up another one here we got the hopscotch pilgrim let's see what kind of roll we get on this pulse rifle we have the uh, red dot oris the range lens rlr5 with quick draw we have counterbalance speed reload feathered mag single point sling and eh, glass half full not a very good roll for that. And last but not least on our Warlock, we are going to get a oh, sniper rifle to Tao Hua Yan. Let's, uh, let's look at this real quick. Has a Wild Hawk, Long View, Ambush. It has Ambush, but you really want to have short gaze on your snipers. Uh, with Underdog, Armor Piercing Rounds, Rifled Barrel, Casket Mag, and Hot Swap. So Hot Swap's always good, but rather have better uh, target acquisition so let's uh, let's jump over here onto the Titan and see what we can get from those bounties all right and we are back on the Titan as you can see I am rocking that crow to gear this week um, and we have let's see how many bounties we have on him uh, one two three four actually we're skipping over that one there four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we got a total of 23 bounties that we're opening up this week so let's go ahead and check, uh, starting off with this one here. It's going to give us the invective. Oh, let's see. I think somebody was even talking about doing an invective challenge tonight. So we'll go ahead and keep that, even though I already have it. Um, go ahead and uh, dismantle that probably later on for that exotic shard. The Paragon Greaves. Let's check these things out here. I don't think I, I don't use these. Let me see what what's all what's the big deal with these. Um, sniper, rifle, ammo, machine gun, ammo, arc double. And shoulder charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air. Oh, that's right, that's right. The good old shoulder charge. Not a fan of that at all. Um, game of Rift, let's see. We got the Steel Oracle. Let's see what kind of rolls we can get on this. Uh, Warhead Veneers, Smart Drift Control, and Hard Launch with Army of One, Perfect Balance, Single Point Sling, Field Scout, and cluster bomb so almost the same as what we had before except uh, instead of grenades and horseshoes it has a uh, cluster bomb next one is gonna be that's just reputation there let's go ahead and turn this one in with the lingering song nice nice this thing uh, I got a really good roll on this hand cannon uh, a few iron banners ago and it was uh, it is very deadly so let's see we got the iron lordly sights the iron warrior sights and the iron vidger sights with reinforced barrel, nice injection mold, single point sling, feather mag, army of one, on mulligan. Ooh, I was getting kind of happy there with that reinforced barrel, but really nothing else here um, that I would use. So probably gonna be just dismantling that a little bit later on as well. Ooh, a hawk saw. You guys know my hawk saw is the favorite favorite weapon of all. Let's see what we got. We got the SLO twelve. The SPO 26 and the SR SPO or SRO 37 got hammer forge pendant magazine secret round I've never had secret round on a hawk saw before speed reload oh and reinforced barrel oh I might be switching this one I might be switching up my hawk saw here hammer forged reinforced barrel the stability is not uh, where my other hawk saw is, but I ooh, I've always wanted to have secret round on the hawk saw, so I think we're going to be testing that out for sure tonight. Um, moving on over to the next one, we have the another matador. Let's see what we get for this matador here. 
uh, linear compensator, field choke, and aggressive ballistics with spray and play, not very good. Single point sling, quick draw, and small board, just a little bit of range there. And crowd control, definitely, definitely not a good roll here. Moving on to the next, we got the 2020 AMR7. So let's see here, we got uh, the sight sys, the long view, and ambush again, no short gaze, unflinching, skip rounds, rifled barrel, and small bore, and hot swap. So not not too bad, not too bad, and unflinching definitely helps, um, hot swap definitely helps, and other than that, I mean, yeah, maybe small bore, maybe rifled barrel. Not a huge fan of sniper rifles anymore, especially with the whole ammo nerf um i pretty much stick with my icebreaker now if i'm going to be using snipers uh we got the chaotic neutral don't really use heavy machine guns too much anymore either so let's see what we got here the cqb ballistics smart drift control and field choke life support take a knee perfect balance armor piercing rounds and crowd control next and we got the zero day dilemma with uh, MD Reflex, Steady Hand IS, and OEG, with uh, Focus Fire, Grenadier, Perfect Balance, Appended Magazine, and Third Eye. Let's go on to what we got for the next one here. We got, oh, back to the Postmaster. And we got the Hero Formula here uh, Red Dot Aura, Focus Lens with OEG, with Outlaw. Icarus, hand laid stock, it's pretty good stability right there. Um, armor piercing rounds and third eye. So third eye, hand laid stock. Um, outlaw, not too bad, not too bad. And last but not least for this week's bounties, let's hope we get something good here. The Havoc Pigeon. Let's see the rolls on this thing. It is gonna be fast draw IS with steady hand. Surrounded, Spray and Play, Snapshot, Skip Rounds, and Feather Mag. Uh-uh-uh. Well, well, well. Hopefully, next week we get some uh, better better rolls on these weapons. Um, not to mention the vendor reset this week was absolutely garbage. I'm probably only going to be picking up one weapon from there. But again, guys, we will be uh, knocking these bounties out again next week, along with the following week. Um, all the way up until Destiny 2. So we will keep doing uh, these massive openings. I don't, want to, I don't want to, you know, just make a video of opening up, you know, one character with, you know, seven or eight of them on there. Uh, so I'm really hoping to get at least 20 openings done, um, if not every week, every other week. Uh, so again, thank you guys for coming in, and I will see you guys all in the next live stream.